Hello and welcome back to Communications Class Online 2019. Today we are going to be talking about, drum roll please, crested geckos. So I do actually have a crested gecko. I just recently got him and so I'd like to introduce him to everybody and that way you get to see him and experience him through the video as I'm talking about him. All right, follow me. So this is what a crested gecko looks like. As you can see, they're not very large, but they are quite adorable. Um, so he is actually a male. Um, this is actually my second day having him. So I am still getting him used to being held and everything. So please excuse if he jumps <laughs> because they are known to be jumpers. Um, so right now we're still just getting him used to being held and everything. So basically what I wanted to talk about a little bit first is where... Um, crested geckos originally come from and they come from an island called New Caledonia. Now something really interesting about these guys is that they were actually thought to be extinct until the year 1994. So only 25 short years ago these little guys they thought no longer existed and actually funny thing is I was born in 1994 so I thought that's why it made them the perfect pet for me, haha, <laughs> because, you know, I believe in the universe and cosmic stuff, so, um, so yeah, so they live on a tropical island, um, like I said, it's called New Caledonia, they are in, oh. so they are an arboreal species, meaning that they usually spend most of their time up in the talls of the trees um, and in vines and in plants and they don't usually go to the ground. They like to be up high. The only time that they are on the ground is when they are getting their food. Mm -hmm. And so that is why I did mention that this little guy is a jumper. They do like to jump. They have little pads on their feet, actually. I don't know if you could see the little pads on his feet. Um, they have a sticky adhesive on the bottom, which make perfect for climbing. So his terrarium that he lives in, he can actually climb it completely and be upside down and he will not fall. So that makes this guy pretty cool. So for their diet, so for their diet, what they mostly eat is, in the wild in New Caledonia, what they'll eat is they will go on the ground to eat. So they're going to be eating the fruit that they find. And these guys actually can't digest protein very well. So they do, su they do supplement protein into their diet once to twice a week um, while, while they're in captivity with wax worms. Now, the reason that they use waxworms is because the waxworms have no exoskeleton, which makes it a little bit easier to digest for them. And you can always add a little bit of the repti calcium along with it to make sure that your crested gecko is getting all the nutrients that they deserve. Now, the other main source of food for the crested gecko in captivity would be either their favorite, the two best brands out there are Rapashi and Pangea. And what it is, is, is it's a powder fit, like mix and you add a little bit of water and it's basically just fruits and veggies and you stir it up. It's like a little pancake batter and they like to lick it. Um, so yeah, these guys also, they can have a shallow bowl of water in their tank but they normally prefer to drink from the leaves and they like to be misted. And they like their leaves to be misted. Mm 
Your humidity should be at 70 degrees. That is the key. That is basically their perfect weather is to be between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit and a humidity of 70 degrees. But as long as they don't get below 50 degrees for, or yeah, 50 degrees for humidity, then they, or 50% for humidity, excuse me, then they are going to be okay and they should be fine. Um, but you really don't want to keep it that low because like I said, these guys live in the tropics and they really, they don't, they prefer the tropical weather. So let's go over and walk to his terrarium and I can show you a little bit about where they live and how you should set up their as I, as I told you, he does like, they are an arboreal species, so they do like to climb, they do like to jump. Um, another thing that I haven't mentioned yet is they actually have no eyelids. So yes, his eyes stay like that all the time, and he is actually licking his eyeballs right now to keep them moist. <laughs> and um, obviously reptiles also use their tongues to sniff the air and kind of see what's going on around them. Like I said, I just got this guy a couple days ago, so he's still checking out the scene, making sure that I'm okay and that his home environment's okay. Now, if you don't want this guy to jump, a very easy, yeah, he doesn't even see his pads. <laughs> You can just put your hand right in front of him and that will stop him from jumping and you could be like no um so this beautiful little guy um i should also mention right now does not have a name yet um i was thinking floki from vikings because he is a trickster um he's very crazy boy and he the very first night we brought him home he bit me, even though he's acting so calm on my hands right now. Um, so that's why I thought Floki would be a good name for him. But then we're also thinking possibly Darwin, as in Charles Darwin and the theory of evolution, as well as um, the middle name would be Darwin DeVille. Um, and that would be because his coloration, if you can see, he has spots. He's called a Dalmatian crested gecko. And so I got the name DeVille from Cruella DeVille since she wanted to, you know, hurt the Dalmatians. Um, so Darwin DeVille is definitely a running name, but not 100% sure what we're thinking yet. Um, so like I said, let's get this guy over to his terrarium and we'll kind of show you. <laughs> so, I actually can't open the terrarium right now because he's getting a little bit antsy. And he does not want to... <laughs> he does not want to um, stay still right now. He wants to jump. Um, and that's okay. You know reptiles aren't used to usually being handled. This is a very docile um, breed of reptile, so if you are looking for like a beginner reptile where you know you don't want them to hurt you, like this one, the bites literally don't even leave a mark, and um, they're very easy to maintain and keep, take care of, and as you can see, this guy is absolutely gorgeous, so um, yeah, so maybe if my husband could point into the direction of the terrarium. We can go ahead and look and see. So as you can see, there's a lot of shrubbery and a lot of hiding places. Um, branches are very good for this species as well as <coughs> natural corkscrews and um, corkscrew wood, excuse me. Um, you want basically all the places you can, um, you can have for them to climb and for them to be able to hide as well. 
because they are nocturnal so they do like to sleep during the day and they like to be hidden while they're sleeping and then um, and then they like to come out at night and that's primarily when they eat and when they do all their fun stuff so I never actually get to see this guy very active but um, but right now is a really nice time uh, when handling reptiles you should always always take them out every single day because if you do not handle them, then they will not become used to human contact and then they will not want to be held anymore. And they will become a little bit more aggressive normally. I'm not saying this is gonna happen every time and I'm definitely not an expert, but um, I've done my research and um, the, the best way to um, the best way to handle reptiles is to take them out 15 to 20 minutes a day um, where you know you get to spend quality time with them and um, yeah and another little fun fact actually if my husband wants to bring the camera around here to his little tail area I don't know if you guys can see the little this little sack right here but that is his little ball sack so that is the way that you can tell that he is a male. Um, the males do have like little ball sacks and then the females actually have what looks like a little slit underneath their tail right in that same area. Um, so if you want to know if your crested gecko is male or female, that is how you can tell. Um, and it does take, I believe, a couple months before you can even um, gender them. Um, so. So yeah, so I definitely recommend, um, if you're interested in reptiles, getting a crested gecko. They are so fun and so amazing, and um, you definitely won't regret it. I know I haven't, so thank you. Another important fact that I did forget to mention about the crested gecko is that in order to defend themselves from predators they do have the ability to tail drop but unlike some other reptiles they don't have the ability to grow it back so once their tail drops that is it no more tail and they are known in the reptile world as frog butt because normally they look like they have little frog butts after they drop their tail i have been very lucky that the move has not been super stressful on my little guy and he has not dropped his tail and I hope that he never drops his tail in the future. So um, another little crested gecko fun fact.